Oh, what fun. Getting our camper ready for rock climb. I gotta replace this roof. They told me this thing didn't leak at all. I'm detaching that board so I can replace it. Fucking liars. So full of shit. They tired of fucking people lying to me. Ain't no leaks my ass, motherfuckers. Took a goddamn thing off. Now I can really see what I'm doing. Got my little wire wheel here. I'm gonna take off all this old fucking silicone they got all over the fucking place. Open up them holes a little bit so I can see them a little bit better. Boy, man, I think the whole fucking metal up here needs replaced. Not to mention the fucking jack I bought fits through that top hole. It don't fit through the bottom hole though. Everything just wants to fuck with you just a little bit. Like I bought that jack and it's like, oh, hey, you fit. And then you get it down in there. Oh, no, you don't fit. And I ain't got a cutting torch, so whatever. And I have to stop doing this. Because, of course, that motherfucker up there wants to rain. And look at all them holes and shit, guys. I mean, I can patch it. and Jesus. I haven't been having very much good luck with all this shit. Make lemonade out of lemons, I guess. All right, now it decides that he ain't gonna rain. I ain't playing this game. You can get high and go lay down. Stare at the TV. Fuck this. It's just not worth it. One way to fix something that looks like that, that's got tears in the metal and everything, a little bit harder. Cause I got this here. This one here is a little bit bigger. Okay, it is definitely bigger, but I mean, I think I bought a roof vent that is just the same size as the old one. That's as big a vent as I could find. So this ain't the size I ordered. I ordered a 17 by 17. So I guess the measurements were just the size of the box. I bet that's what it is. But, I mean, I ain't gonna wait for another one to come in for a measly inch. I'm gonna cut all this stuff off, take that wood off, take that wood off, uh, clamp some silicone, and then we'll go to the next step. Oh no, this thing don't leak. This thing don't leak at all. Uh-uh. I'll remove these support boards. And now I gotta clean up a mess before I tear up my cushions and shit while I'm uh, replacing those boards. All right, after you get all that on, you get this up, and then you take what styrofoam you got, fucking glue it up there with some silicone, man. And now I'll put up the wood. That's gonna be fun. You gotta scope down here. And I got the inside all put on. I'll have to come back to that because it is about to start raining and I haven't sealed none of this out. But on the inside, I've already done the inside so I didn't want it to rain and get through. I have a lot of cleaning up to do as you can see. I gotta clean the hell out of it before I seal up these holes. Some holes don't belong, and some holes are just been there. So, we'll see on this. As you can see here, a whole lot of cleaning that needs to be done. See, I've already cleaned that. You can see those holes in the cross members that were under there. Well, I gotta get all the silicone off. I gotta clean it, maybe wire wheel it. That way I can put down the tape and then prime over everything. <laughs> Missed a video of me scrubbing, taping, priming, and applying silicone. Sorry about that. After scraping all the old off, I scrubbed the whole top with RV roof cleaner. Then every hole, seam, and crack I found. Got some RV sealant tape. Then covered the whole top with RV roof primer. And then I added two coats of RV roof silicone. They do sell kits without the tape. The tape makes it more durable. This is the 
inside of it. Like I said, I'll, I just put in a new uh, little vent and this hardy siding top. The top has been recovered as well. That's what it looks like after you get all the tape on there and the silicone. Bitch, this thing don't leak now. See, I'd rather do that than put holes in that new roof.